Hello, welcome to Shad Life. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the new bridge at Feet of Worth and how to ride it safely. Uh, people that are more experienced, they just ride this stuff without even thinking about it. But for people that are beginners or even some intermediate riders or more experienced riders will be a little afraid of this. And I get it. I mean, if you really take a look, it's pretty steep so i don't know if it shows how steep it is i'm trying to have my phone as level as i can so you can see how steep it is it's pretty steep and when you ride up to it and you see it as you're rolling up to it which i will do with my chesty on it probably won't show you how like intimidating it looks but it's actually really easy to ride it just looks intimidating <laughs> for a lot of people so i'll show you exactly what you need to do so i'll talk about it and then i'll show you some slow motion video of me doing it so what you want to do is you roll up to this number one thing you want to do absolutely the most important thing is get your hand off the front brake. If you don't know which brake is your front brake, you shouldn't be riding this, period. Like if you don't know your bike that well and you you don't ride enough to know which is your front brake, you shouldn't even be riding stuff like this. <laughs> you really need to be comfortable on your bike. So get off your front brake uh, here in the United States. <laughs> it's almost always on the left side of the bike, but make sure you know which side it is because in some parts of the or world people ride them switched and some people that like ride motorcycles and stuff will switch them but yeah it's almost always on the left so um so stay off the front brake and i'm stressing that because that's what would send you over the bars harder than you would ever want to be sent over the bars is if you get there and panic and you hit the front brake too hard um so that's the first step the second step is you need a bike that fits you well because if you have a bike with too long of a stem or too much reach or the bike's too big for you and you can't get back behind the saddle and almost almost sit on the rear tire you don't want to sit on the rear tire but you want to be that far back where you're almost sitting on the rear tire arms stretch straight out in front of you and you just push the bar is forward and let the bike rotate forward and go down and your body stay back. So I will show you that here in slow motion because you don't want to pitch your body forward with the bike. You don't want to be seated. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about that. <laughs> the number two most important thing, have a dropper post and have it in the low position. Sometimes I think that stuff's obvious, but I should mention that you want your dropper post in the low position so you have movement and the bike can move underneath you without the seat getting in the way because you don't want the seat hitting you from behind and bucking you forward so you want the bike to pitch forward but you want your body to stay back and that's that kind of row anti-row stuff i talk about or pitch control of the bike um here's a quick example of me going over the rock with that pitch control the bike pitches up and then comes down the other side of the rock but my body stays relatively you know perpendicular to the ground and i just let the bike do its thing same thing you want to do here as you go down is you want to just let the bike point down you don't want your whole body to move forward with the bike very important because that again is what's going to pitch you forward so you want to approach it really slow and then have your finger on only the rear brake and then let the front wheel just roll down and your weight come back you want to go really slow you don't want to go fast or even a medium speed because you don't want to launch off of it you want to roll um, pedals flat another really important thing <laughs> pedals 
parallel to the ground. Don't have one pedal down and one pedal up. Again, another one of those things that I just would assume people know, but I should probably mention it. <laughs> Dropper post down, pedals flat, right? One foot forward, one foot back. Hand off the front brake. All right, I'm babbling. I always do that, but very important for people that are newer to doing this kind of stuff. So uh, let's watch a video. Okay, you wanna approach it slow. Hand off the front brake. Feather the back brake and just let the bike pitch forward and let your butt go back over the rear tire. So there you have it, pretty easy. It's, it's more intimidating, <laughs> it, it looks more intimidating than it actually is. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna go ride this whole new loop. This loop isn't finished yet, but it's kind of fun. Got some fun stuff in it. Appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe.